Hohmann's test for the deep vein thrombosis, a lot of the first thing that you need to observe um, the area, a lot of times it gets, will be heat or um, kind of redness, erythema. What you want to do is that you want to observe it from patient standing, make sure the location of it. A lot of times you will also notice the varicose vein on the popliteal region. For the hormone test itself is you want to bring in a dose deflection. First you can kind of bring in a dose deflection to see if the patient kind of notice like any pain, increasing pain, is okay. If there is not much in pain, you want to also squeeze. So you want to squeeze it at the same time and then dose flex. By doing this, you're kind of also compressing on um, muscles and if there is a deep vein thrombosis, you, the patient will note it, usually the pain. The next test would be burgers burgers test burgers test you're checking for the peripheral artery disease what you want to do is that you want to bring the leg up about 30 degrees or 45 degrees try to observe all the blood this is like a, the color of the skin and then uh, what you want to do is that just kind of leave it up there for like two minutes or so hold it Sometimes you can do so you can ask the assistant to kind of bring it or if you have some, something to kind of raise their leg but you want to, like more than the little pillow, you want to just bring it up and see. Sometimes I also do is that I'll bring it in a dose flexion right here and just kind of, you can do just keeping the dose flexion itself or you can do just a little pumping here to kind of circulate, the, try to bring the blood down a little bit but just simply doing a straight leg raise will do the job. After doing this, you can also check the tibial pulse, making sure you can also check the blood circulation to the each nails, making sure that all the, the blood is being um, going down to your foot. And after two minutes, what you'll do is that you'll ask the patient, go ahead and call me, sit up, and then swing your leg to the side, and then check for the color. Uh, changes on the leg and it's definitely right now it's start getting a little bit more redness a little bit more color to it so that can indicates that yes there's a circulation is okay if there is not the the color of the leg is still like pale and it's not good then that it will be a positive sign okay good next is Tanel's foot Tanel's in the foot going to stay there uh, what you can do is that you can actually, the tunnel is basically tapping. So the torsal tunnel, this is the area of the pain, usually like right posterior to the medial malleolus. This is the line. You guys remember Tom, Dick, and Harry. That's the tendon like area right here. The tibial nerve itself is going to run right here, and then this is the area that you want to just tap. And the patient will usually note it like the pain around this area, or there will be a pain on the plantar surface. So that will be the positive. So that's the uh, tunnel test for the for the ankle part. Lateral stability. Lateral stability. Let's see. Lateral stability is checking for the, those lateral ligament. So if you twist this a little bit, you're checking for the anterior talofibular, posterior talofibular, and then t uh, fibula, uh, fibial tail tail ligament right here, and that's. A lot of times it will be tender for especially for the like inversion sprain. What you want to do is you can bring it up, just ask the patient in the morning, relax position, just relax. Relax. And then doing the lateral instability test and bring it into the inversion to see how much of the stretch will cause. And sometimes if there's a pain, patient will note it in the painful spot and is that more on anterior, posterior, or right on the telofibial ligament. Okay? Yep. Drawer and, signs? Oh, and make sure to kind of compare right and left because um, if you do it on one side and you feel like it's quite a movement, but if you compare to the other side, you can tell the big difference. Um, anterior, drawers, anterior drawers test is basically, I'm going to come to the other side. Let's see. Sorry. So, what you want to do is that you want to hold right at the heel and stabilize the tibia, and you're going to actually do the anterior drawer, so bring the heel forward. Make sure to do quite a bit of with the force, like bring it forward. If anterior telofibular ligament, so I don't have a pain, um, but it's anterior telofibular ligament is holding right here. And you draw, 
pulling the heel if there is kind of a tear in there that you feel quite a bit of movement. Next one with posterior. Yeah. Posterior will be now moving this, the foot part, back right here to the posterior. So hold it on the, on the more on the behind the leg and then push the dorsal part of the foot posterior right here. That will be checking for the posterior talofibular ligament. Medial stability? Medial stability is checking for the, let's see, doing it this way, uh, checking for the deltoid ligament. So deltoid ligament consists of the seven, like three of the ligament right here, and you want to bring it to the E version. So you want to kind of bring it this way. And then checking for the, um, the stability of these ligaments, deltoid ligament. Yep. Morton's? Morton's foot is checking for the Morton's, most likely for the suspect, uh, suspect Morton's neuroma. So what you want to do is that often happens between like fourth and fifth, like third and fourth in between the metatarsals. So you want to really focus on that area, stabilize it, and then squish. So if you just kind of squish this way, you're not, gonna, you're not really squishing correctly. So make sure to squish it like straight here and then try to squeeze those metatarsal bones. And the patient will usually notice the pain. Sometimes when you do the Morton's test, the patient might uh, notice the pain goes up to the, all the way to the distal digits.